Forest Defense Weather is sponsored by 42 Degrees and Sunny, smoking deals on smoking accessories. Learn more at 42DegreesAndSunny.com. That's 42DegreesAndSunny.com. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Well, a happy Wednesday to you, and uh, we did have a little bit of accumulating snow yesterday afternoon, and of course this morning. These were the snowfall totals that we got in, only just a couple. Gary at about uh, three quarters of an inch of snow there, Falconer 0.3, and Kennedy at 0.2 inches. So it was the kind of a dusting, who cares kind of snow, exactly what we told you yesterday. Any snowfall accumulation overnight, and especially or, and uh, you know, especially this morning, was not going to be anything major. Now we do turn a little bit colder here uh, as we go down the road here tomorrow. We're only forecasting 29, but we'll be back up to around 30 on Friday. And look at the weekend, 27 Saturday, 28 on Sunday. This is typical kind of cold for this time of the year. This isn't anything major, but some of the signs do indicate that we could be turning much colder by the end of the month. So could winter finally just get going here? We're going to likely see a big upper trough coming in by the end of the month. This is likely the last week of the month here going into the last uh, uh, into the last week of January. Big upper trough coming in. That's going to bring in a lot of Arctic air from the Arctic Circle in Canada, bringing it all the way down here. And uh, yeah, we threw the word Arctic blast in here because it is possible that we could be talking about true Arctic air by the end of the month. Is this guaranteed? No, but a lot of the long range computer models have been hinting about this and uh, we'll see what happens here. We're still too far out for exact details, but of course we'll fine tune this as we go throughout the next few weeks here. And I know a lot of you are pretty much on the phone wanting to dial the weather office, be like, Hunter, where's my sunshine? Because look at this, we've only had four days since the 1st of December where we've had mostly sunny to partly sunny. The clouds have really won out. 32 days here where we've had mostly cloudy or complete overcast skies here. And, uh, but we do see at least some brief changes in the seven day, which you'll see coming up in a minute here. So mostly cloudy through the afternoon, scattered light snow showers, less than an inch possible. If anything does accumulate, maybe about a half inch, that's it. Uh, maybe some patchy drizzle at times, especially near the shoreline communities, 28 to 35 with a northwest wind averaging five to 10 miles per hour. Tonight, just a few scattered snowflakes may mix with some drizzle overnight. It may freeze overnight, so be careful of that if you're gonna be going out overnight. But I think the impacts are gonna be minimal, but there could be some slick spots, especially by the morning commute, 23 to 29, with the north wind averaging 5 to 10 miles per hour. The 42 degrees and sunny seven day looks like this 29 tomorrow uh, with mostly cloudy skies. We could see a few peekaboo sun on Friday 30. Finally, the sunshine will break out on Saturday, but only 27, 28 Sunday back to mostly cloudy skies. And it looks like the clouds will continue into early next week, but we should be back into the lower 30s by next Tuesday.